Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Hope you guys are having a great time. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sick, so we're going to do our best to get through this video. So today I wanted to go ahead and pretty much finalize the RF Chieftain Fresh account. I don't have much content to show you guys from here since most of it is in the previous clips, but I want to show you guys how it pretty much ended. So we hit level 100, we died about actually six times, I ran a T17 after and died. Ironically, half of my deaths, one of them was to Mervale in the campaign, I don't want to talk about it, and two of them were actually to Shrek. Uh, I call him Shrek, it's the guy before you fight uh, Eater of Worlds, I hate that guy, so actually very, very smooth as a fresh progression um, chieftain, so very, very much liked it. I do want to state that I really enjoy this current variant, uh, more so than the Fire Trap variant. And that variant is basically utilizing Hateful Accuser and getting to stack a shit ton of area of effect. I think we're close to, uh, let me go ahead and just get into a Blood Aqueduct to show you guys. Without any synth gear or anything crazy, we're rocking about 120 global AoE. And then on RF itself, we have, uh, let's see here. RF itself, we have 175, and this could go further without, without like really hurting the build much. There's always an option of doing the. If you guys played last league, you'll know we did the adorned plus. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but I'll call it light of meeting. I think it, natural, grandest pact. I think it was called. That's basically you come up here, and I believe you socket the light of meaning here, and then the unnatural instinct here, and then you grab all the AOE. The only reason I did not do that is if you notice here, I have like Templar. The problem with dropping Templar is I would make the character a bit more expensive because I would have to get my chance to ignite. So I'd have to tattoo chance to ignite here. And at the time, I didn't have, I didn't really feel like doing that swap. Um, the Fallen Shield is incredibly strong. Definitely going to be probably removed from <laughs> next league, or they're going to remove something on it. They'll make it a T zero drop. They'll remove the lucky. I, they can't really remove the lucky block. They might make the lucky block recently. Um, and Svalon goes in conjunction with Hateful Accuser, and that's because when you get hit, it triggers a gem, and that gem hits the target, triggering the Penance Mark, spawning the ads. But I've talked about this in a few of my videos, so we're not going to go into it too much. What I want to talk about is what I did with the rest of my currency. So as you guys know, one of the goals on this character was getting a Mage Blood, so we ended up liquidating everything in our stash. Um, which was close to about 150 divines, so literally everything. We did what we call a fire sale on my stream, and I basically would just look at something, I would price check it, and if it said 60 chaos, I would just sell it for like 25. And then pretty much everyone just got a whole bunch of deals. Then I converted all of that currency into um, ancient orbs, which was about, I think, around 3,000 ancient orbs. Um, which is not the same amount as 150 Divine, but remember I gave a lot of very good deals. And the goal was hitting a Mage Blood. Um, so this is pretty much what we did. Unfortunately, we did not end up hitting a Mage Blood. We did hit a Headhunter, which was pretty cool. Never hit a Headhunter through Ancient Orbs. Unfortunately, only 12 Divines, so it did not really recuperate like any of the losses. I then just basically took that and then turned it back into ancient orbs and at the end i broke the rule set of the character because trying to buy ancient orbs through the Faustus market was so expensive i mean i dumped hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of gold and just said there's no reason since the character's done after today so we just went and basically traded for them although it, it was a very fun uh run the main the main thing i wanted to do with this character though was when people come to me and say hey man it's about a month in you know how was rf I didn't really have an answer because I never play Trade League halfway into the league. I just play it on League Start and then stop. And to be fair, a lot of prices and items fluctuate in value because it's just very different like a month in. So very happy to say that the character still works on a terrific budget Can farm pretty much everything except for Ubers is what I don't really recommend. Simulacrum is not too good with my current variant either with Hateful Accuser, but it can definitely work. Um, Surprised at how well it tackles T17, but the T17 tackling is primarily the Hateful Accuser setup. Also with Recombinators in the game, I didn't make any Recombinator guides, but Recombinators are really crazy. Being able to make insane life gear with double multi. I'm very curious what happens to Recombinators. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the character. I'm going to retire it here at Pox Fresh Chieftain. And we're just going to leave it first level 100 on a new account, so that was pretty cool. I guess I could do played for you in kills, although I don't know how accurate all of these are.
But anyway, that's going to be it. So I'm going to go head out. I need to go get some rest. So hope you guys enjoy yourself. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, that's pretty much about it. So take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.